All right, it's Henry again, and this is my long-awaited review of the Gun Dog. Hey, come back! This is my long-awaited review of the Gun Dog Mark III. So he might not be very cooperative. So let's just get into it straight out of the box you are going to see that it's molded in all of the correct colors no painting no stickers uh, none of that's necessary got a nice golden orange color for the main body and you would think that some of these white markings were done with uh, stickers or decals nope that is actually molded in there so you can see Bandai did the injection uh, molding trick for the eyes to get those in the correct colors similar to what they do on the uh, figure eyes labo and figure eyes standard model kits black for the nose white for the teeth tongue is even pink and then the v fin is molded in clear green yellow and white as for articulation the head can go up about this far. It can rotate side to side. It can go down. The ears are on ball joints, so they have a pretty good range of mo motion. The V fin tends to get in the way a little bit. Uh, for the legs, each shoulder is on a ball joint, so they can rotate. The elbows can bend, ankles bend back and forth as well, even the toes are articulated. For the back legs, you have a double swivel joint for the hips. The knee can bend about 90 degrees, and the ankle also can move back and forth. And again, just like on the real grade, the toes are individually posable. As for weapons and accessories, it doesn't come with any, but I mean, do you need any? I don't think so. I think it's perfectly fine on as, as it is. Uh, it can be mounted to an action base. It does come with a separate action base connector, and the retail price is around 9,000 yen. So, is it worth it? I think so. If you really, really want this kit, definitely go and pick it up. You absolutely will not be disappointed. So, if you guys enjoyed this review, remember to dislike, don't comment, and unsubscribe. So with that, I'll see you guys next time.